Item number SCP-1402. Index, the tell-all briefcase. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1402 is to be contained in storage locker on sector. Any staff ranked level 3 or higher may be granted access under the supervision of two, two other level 4 staff, as long as reports are made for all tests and documents are submitted for review. However, testing on other SCP objects require senior staff approval before they may be carried out. All documents received as a result of testing will be reviewed by a level 4 staff member who is not in relation to the document itself. Before either being filed in filing cabinet or kept by personnel upon request approval by reviewing level 4 staff, provided the document relates to said requesting personnel. Description SCP-1402 is a plastic brown Royal Traveller brand briefcase. It measures 45 centimeters across. 30 centimeters in height and 10 centimeters in width. It can be opened by unlatching two, two stainless steel clips found on either side of the rubber handle. Each clip is outfitted with a key lock, yet the key has so far not been found. If presented to any object or living thing, done by facing the opening toward said subject and opened, SCP-1402 will dispense a number of documents providing explicit detail of the object or living thing's history up until SCP-1402 was presented to the subject. The mechanism by which SCP-1402 achieves this is unknown, as is the mechanism by which the object acquires the paper and ink on which to print the information. These documents are in 8-point Times New Roman font on A4 printing paper with 1 cm margins on all sides printed in black India ink and are single-spaced. Testing has shown that SCP-1402 may only distribute 1,000 pages per presentation. The content is always written in the form of biography, e.g. Dr. Don Joe was born on January 1st, 1950. In spite of this, the content of these documents are not always accurate, sometimes being completely false. The content of the documents seems to be entirely random, and no trend has yet to be realized. Many times, crossovers with pieces of fiction using the subject as a character have been presented. In addition, many documents have inserted the subject into real-world events in situations for which they were not present. Information about the subject has always been factual, and very few documents have omitted any confirmed factual accounts. For a full list of documents composed by SCP-1402, please refer to Experiment Log 1402. Access Experiment Log. All researchers are required to record any tests conducted with SCP-1402 in this log with the following format. Date. Presented to. Number of documents. Document content. Validity. Experiments led by Dr. Hamill. Date. 20. Presented to D42731. Number of documents. 529. Document content. Description of subject's life from childbirth. Including details of crimes and conviction that coincide with official court documents. Validity. Fully accurate. Date. 20. Presented to 1. 1. 2.7 gram piece of basalt. Number of documents. 943. Document content. Description revealed the subject to be containing a large deposit of polonium. Staff involved with the subject were tested for radiation poisoning and the subject was tested with a dagger counter. Analysis revealed there to be no traces of polonium in the subject. Validity. Fully inaccurate. Date. 20. Presented to Dr. Number of documents. 605. Document content. Description of the life of Dr. During level 4 review, documents revealed Dr. To be secretly conspiring with the serpent's hand. Doctor. 
was questioned, but no further insight has so far been found. Validity, partially or fully accurate. Questionable accuracy. Date. 20. Presented to SCP-173. Number of documents. 432. Document content. Description claimed SCP-173 to be of an ancient race of true humans desperately trying to find the only other member of its species so that it may reproduce and start a new colony. Further insight to the nature of true humans was not given. Validity. Questionable accuracy. Date. 20. Presented to SCP-500. Number of documents. 56. Document content. Description revealed SCP-500 to have been created in Germany in a medical painkiller factory alongside the normally manufactured painkillers. The ingredients of SCP-500 were described as a combination of Einsteinium, Fulbratium, and crushed rusty pocket watches. It should be noted that there is no element named Fulbratium. Validity. Questionable accuracy. Date. 20. Presented to SCP-682. Number of documents. 448. Document content. Document content was identical to Fyodor Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment. Replacing Rashkolnikov with SCP-682. The murdered prostitutes with farmers. And Rashkolnikov's arrest with foundation containment. Validity. Mostly inaccurate. Date. 20. Presented to Dr. Bright. Number of documents. 994. Document content. Originally thought to be written in complete gibberish. Dr. Bright's documents described his life for every odd-numbered word, and described the life of the body he had inhabited for every even-numbered word. E.g. Jack. Word. Bright. Word. Was. Content relating to Dr. Bright was accurate. Yet content relating to the subject he was inhabiting describes the life of musician John Denver. Validity. Fully accurate, fully inaccurate. Experiments led by Dr. Zara. Date. 11-03-20. Presented to Test Animal from Batch 998-C. Newborn Mus Musculis Domesticus. Number of documents. 1. Document content. A single phrase. A mouse with no name was born in March 11th, 20. Validity. Fully accurate. Date. 20. Presented to SCP-914. Number of documents. 1000. Document content. Document appears to start and end halfway through a sentence. The pages describe the individual movements of each of 914's gears between 1440 and 1443 of May 15th, 19. Validity. Fully accurate. I think. Date. 20. Presented to SCP-275. Number of documents. 5. Document content. Document claims SCP came into existence 15 minutes before being presented to SCP-1402. And all memory and evidence of her actions has been retroactively created with her. Descriptions of actions in the last 15 minutes are consistent with observed reality. Validity. Mostly inaccurate. Date. 20. Presented to D-88322. Number of documents. 433. Document content. Description of subject's life and actions as standard. Notably, the actions described therein contradict the D-class criminal accusations, but match his own description of facts and allegations of legal foul play. Validity. I need help filling this. Experiments led by researcher Eisenberg. Date. 20. Presented to an instance of SCP-692-1. Number of documents. 341. Document content. 
document described the life of the impregnating subject from being born in foundation kennels, ending mid-sentence during description of the experimental procedure. Validity fully accurate. Date 20 Presented to a glass of water. Number of documents 9125 Document content the first 114 document pages contain a detailed manufacturing process of glassware. The remaining 9,011 pages consist of a table titled Chronicle of the Cupwise Waters, which contains three columns titled Date of Birth, Place of Origin, and Number of Molecules. Approximately 2.15 E18 molecules are claimed to originate at different points of time in the future while another 6.2 E11 are listed as originating from Watertopia. Validity. Fully accurate. Glass. Questionable accuracy. Water. Experiments led by Dr. Edison. Date. 20. Presented to Dr. Number of documents. 708. Document content. Document consisted of a self-insert fanfiction for the show that had been written by Dr. two months prior. The story was noted by Dr. Edison to be incredibly self-indulgent. Dr. has since denied writing the story and subsequently deleted his account in an attempt to hide the evidence. Validity fully inaccurate. Date 20 Presented to Dr. Alto Clef Number of documents 108 Document content Document consisted of Different Dr. Clef jokes done in the style of Chuck Norris jokes Validity Fully accurate Fully inaccurate Date 20 Presented to SCP-524 Number of documents, 666. Document content. Document claimed that SCP-524 is the Antichrist and was single-handedly responsible for every natural disaster that occurred in the 20th and 21st centuries. Validity, fully inaccurate. Experiments led by Dr. Date, 20. Presented to SCP-096. Number of documents. Four. Document content. Document is a tabloid-style article which describes SCP-096 as a celebrity who has never been observed when not wearing a face-concealing mask. The article quotes an interview where SCP-096 claims that he will only allow his soulmate to see his face. The article ends by reporting on a rumor that SCP-096 is involved in a tumultuous affair with SCP-682. Validity. Fully inaccurate. Date. 20. Presented to SCP-1068. Number of documents. 9,376. Document content. A collection of legal filings from the lawsuit SCP Foundation v. Dr. Entertainment in which the Foundation claims numerous patent violations in both the manufacture and the composition of SCP-1068. The documents make references to both patent case law about anomalies and patent case law which is anomalous. Validity fully inaccurate. Experiments led by Dr. Date 02 20 Presented to SCP-1850 Number of documents 1 Document content A single phrase I wanna fly Validity Fully accurate SCP-1850 had a broken support for one of its wings As a result of an abnormally rough landing on 1 20 Said support was still regenerating it was approximately another three days before said support was fully repaired, and it was deemed fit for flight. Date 02 20 Presented to Dr. Zcat Number of documents 
720. Document content. A fully translated version of Mein Kampf. Doctor stated she had come home the other night to find her cat curled up in a ball next to a copy of the book, fast asleep. Validity. Questionably accurate. Does this even qualify as a term to describe this experiment? Date. 01-22. Presented to Dr. Hekila. Number of documents. Approximately 500,000. Document content. Each page had anatomical drawings of unknown organisms. Validity. Unknown. Apparently, it read my mind and saw all the weird art ideas I have, or something. Can we get this removed? Dr. Hilliker.